Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Marie Holiday, and today is Saturday, November the 21st, 2020, and I hope everybody had a fabulous week. And uh, before we get started on this topic, I just want to uh, remind my viewers and my subscribers and potential subscribers to make sure you do not forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button if you have not subscribed to my channel. This channel will not be possible for my uh, subscribers. I mean, I do want to thank and I appreciate all of my viewers and subscribers, even for viewers who view my uh, YouTube videos and who have not subscribed. You know, I thank everybody for blocking out time out of their life to support and follow my channel on the various different topics that I talk about in terms of just holistic health, financial freedom, you know, informational information about alcohol or drugs or gambling addiction. You know, these are, you know, these are just gut-wrenching topics that this information can benefit anyone who's receptive to receive the information. And I just wanted to uh, put that out there. So with that being said, let's get down to the next topic. Um, the focus of this topic is I'm going to talk about how healthy eating Healthy eating equals saving money. I just want to remind the audience, if you've been following my YouTube channel, the audience is aware that I made a deliberate decision to remove sugar out of my life. Uh, I want to let the audience know I'm on day 110 of removing all added sugar out of my life. And that includes all junk food, candy, potato chips, ice cream, you know, too much sugar, we all know, too much sugar can create uh, destruction in your health. And one of my reasons and motivations for doing that, I'm about three and a half, wait, three and a half years away from retirement, and one of the, the deliberate decisions I made is to be in the best overall health that I can be in as I head towards retirement. So I don't have to be in and out of doctor's offices on a truckload of medication. It's never too early to take control of your health. I don't care if you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 60s, 70s, 80s. I'm here to tell you, and any doctor would tell you, that you know if we are not, if we are not taking care of our body as we go through life, your body will not take care of you. I'm here to tell you. And so with that being said, I just want to get an audience an update on my journey with my 120 days of removing added sugar and junk food out of my life. First of all, the obvious, because I am no longer buying junk food, uh, potato chips, candy, cookies, donuts, ice cream, since I no longer purchase this. Since I no longer go to fast food restaurants and throwing away my money, I'm here to tell you when I was eating unhealthy in my life, my grocery bill per month was $400. Now, since I'm on day 110 of making a deliberate decision to take control of my eating, which in turn means saving money, now, my monthly grocery bill is $150 a month. That's a $250 saving. Because now, when I go grocery shopping, since I'm not buying all that mess, I'm buying my, 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 my fresh vegetables, my frozen vegetables, my, my chicken, my turkey, my water, my yogurt. And I'm here to tell you, when you remove all of that, when I remove all of that out of my grocery list, my grocery bill is now $150 a month. And that allows me to eat nutritional seven days a week. That allows me to take my lunch to work, eat my in-between meals, and you can't get no better than that. And what do you think I did with that $250 that I recouped back into my pocket? I'm going to tell you what I did. I pump some of that $250 additional into my retirement. I pump some of that $250 additional into my emergency savings. And I'm here to tell you. And another benefit of me making these changes in my life in terms of removing added sugar out of my life, I'm here to tell you 
that health the health benefits. You know, you know, my lab work, when I go to my doctor and when they do lab work on me, I'm here to tell you, for me to be 56 years old, my lab work is phenomenal. I'm here to tell you. I have no diabetes or I have no high cholesterol, none of that. My lab work, for me to be the age that I am, is phenomenal. I'm not on any medication. The only one medication I take, really, my doctor is about ready to take me off it, is just a low milligram water pill, like a high blood pressure or water pill, which my blood pressure run like 117 over 80, and it's been pretty much consistent with that for the past year. So my doctor told me if I continue with what I'm doing, eventually I'm coming off of that. And we all know when you're not on, on, on medication for a lot of preventable illnesses like high cholesterol, or diabetes, or just blood sugar too high, or your lab looking all out, out, of, out of order, then you got to spend all this money on medication. But with me, I'm spending no money on no medication. So, and that all, I believe, has a direct result with my healthy eating. I do my workouts four days a week. I've been walking on a walking trail. I use free weights. I'm get out, I'm out there, and I'm moving my body on a consistent basis. Because if the audience has been following my YouTube channel, the whole concept of my YouTube channel is holistic financial freedom in all areas of your life. And with that, I talk about the importance of your physical health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. When all of that is in sync and intertwined together, it'll give you the desire and motivation to maintain your financial health. It all ties in. That is the concept of my entire YouTube channel. Yeah, I may talk about other topics, but those other topics are also motivational and giving the audience valuable information. Because I'm here to tell you, please view one of my first videos where I talked about how in from 2007 to 2012, Marie Holiday was live, literally living in financial destruction. And when God awoken me out of that madness, my life has not been the same since then. You know, I'm three and a half uh, years away from retirement. I got a tough couple of retirement accounts. Uh, I got emergency money. I'm literally debt free. I, I, uh, I have no car note. I have no credit card bills. Um, none of that. My mortgage will be paid off in about another three years. And by the time I pay that mortgage off, I will have paid off a 30 year mortgage in 10 years, literally 20 years early. And I'm here to tell you, if it wasn't by the grace of God to give me the desire and the motivation and skills to rise above that, not just control my financial peace, but to control all areas of my life, I would not be here today sharing this valuable information to the world. That is the concept of my YouTube channel. And I also talked about, in one of my YouTube uploads, I talked about how the stages of change. The stages of change can apply to anything in life. And I talked about those stages of change in terms of pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. And pre-contemplation stage of change is when a person has no desire in the world to make changes in any area of their life. Contemplation stage of change is a person where they may begin to think about making a certain change in their life. They still haven't made the change, but the thought is there. And then preparation stage of change is a person makes a deliberate decision to start planning and prepping to make a specific change in their life. I don't care what that change is. You know, healthy eating, saving money, getting toxic people out of your life, etc. And then we got the action stage of change. When a person uh, uh, is in, in the action stage of change in terms of making a change in any area of their life, they're no longer thinking about it. They know, they, they're, they're no longer discussing it. They're no longer planning. They're executing that plan. They are executing. They're deliberately doing something to show that they are making a change. Just like I executed a plan 110 days ago to remove sugar out of my life. I stopped buying junk food. I made a deliberate decision to stop going to fast food restaurants. Uh, that's, a, that's action. I executed the plan. And then the maintenance stage of change, the maintenance stage of change, when a person has made that lifestyle change, when they have achieved that goal of removing sugar out of their life, 
when they have achieved that goal of saving a certain amount of money every single month and sticking to it, when they have achieved that goal of removing a toxic person out of their life, then what the maintenance stage is change is you got to still sustain it. You got to maintain it. You got to keep the momentum going. And so I talked about literally the stages of change in one of my YouTube video uploads. So audience, rural, I'm here to tell you, I am now in the maintenance stage of change in regards to of changes I have made in all areas of my life, not just removing the sugar out of my life. I'm also in the maintenance stage of change in terms of maintaining my financial freedom. I'm in the maintenance stage of change of maintaining my healthy eating. I'm in the maintenance stage of change in terms of my workouts four days a week. And I'm in the maintenance stage of change uh, with my spirituality and everything. It all ties in. So I encourage the audience to check out my other videos where I talked about my financial destruction, where I talked about the upload I did on stages of change. And I'm here to tell you this valuable information will provoke your thinking. Why go through life if your thinking is not provoked? So with that being said, that's all I have. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, audience, and I'm going to just say it again. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you know, please hit my, that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Follow me in this journey because I'm on a three-year retirement journey. Retirement don't mean my life is going to end. I'm in the process of getting other things uh, cultivated to to continue with this YouTube video, um, all of that. I got some upcoming topics that are going to be very powerful and motivational that I'm getting ready to pull together. I'm going to talk about one of my topics. Please be aware of the gig societies. The gig society, because when a person is just focusing on the gig society, it can create financial destruction if you're not wise. Another one of my topics I'm going to do an upload on is the importance of maintaining your home. The maintenance of your home can equal saving money. Another one of my future uploads I'm going to talk about is how maintaining your vehicle. Maintaining your vehicle can also equal saving money. Another upload that I'm going to do is how talking about uh, the importance of keeping the momentum going for whatever success that you're trying to achieve. I'm going to talk about how important it is to keep the momentum going in regards to whatever goal you're trying to achieve. Then once you achieve it, you got to sustain it so that you got to keep that momentum, you know, because a lot of people want to give up real quick when they don't see quick results. But I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you nothing in this world. I don't care what that goal is. That's worthwhile. It's going to come quick. Because if it's coming, if it's coming, if it's coming too quick, I'm going to be suspicious. Nothing in this world that's worthwhile and of substance is going to come quick. It's going to require a degree of effort. It's going to require a degree of uh, uh, diligence. It's going to require a degree of momentum and ongoing work and work at that goal until you achieve it. And I don't care what it is. I'm going to also do a video upload and talking about how um, how I'm going to talk about how I'm in preparing or currently preparing my home. Uh, to put on a market within the next 24 months and how I had literally renovated my own entire home literally without doing in debt and doing everything in cash. So that's just um, um, a, some cliffhangers. That's just insight on some future YouTube uploads that I'm going to do to share with the audience in regards to the direction my YouTube channel is going. But the bottom line, everything will always tie in and connect to the concept of, 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 of financial freedom and achieving goals and provoking your thinking. So with that being said, uh, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to hit that notification button. I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers for blocking out time out of your world to support my channel. And with that being said, you all know why I ended. Simplify, simple fidelis. Have a great morning.